Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. This behind me here is a brand new Tesla Model 3 Long Range. It just happened to come through our workshop and I noticed inside that the range is more than any of the other Model 3 Long Ranges I've seen before. Aha, new battery I thought. Tesla don't tell you about a new battery of course, so it's down to us to find out. So indeed, I've managed to plug into this car, read some battery data. I'm going to tell you about a new battery that we now have in the UK for the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you like our content and want to see more, don't forget to not only subscribe, but also hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any new videos as they're uploaded. Plus, we're also on Instagram. Just look up R. Simons or RSEV. Us, we're on Facebook and Twitter. So lots of news, stories, and things as we go on each one of those channels. Okay, this is exciting, isn't it? So what good news, the price of the Model 3 long range, along with the standard uh, performance also went up recently, but it's now a bigger battery. So that kind of helps justify that price increase a little bit. Tesla don't tell you about that stuff. They don't tell you about what battery. They don't say, well, we've put the price up because of this. Um, it's just the way they work. We're all used to that by now. Uh, but yes, we've plugged into that. Let me just clarify something to begin with though. The Model 3 today, this one, and our own long range out there, we've only ever in the UK here received a 75 kilowatt hour pack. Mainland Europe got the 82 kilowatt hour pack for the long range. We only ever got the 82 for the performance models. So when I say this is an increase, that's because of that reason. We've never seen anything bigger than a 75. We've plugged in our uh, own long range, and that new had about 74.5 kilowatt hours um, usable. So that's all we've ever had in the long range here. However, I can reveal to you that this car here, which is part of the latest batch uh, that arrived, I think this was born as such, made in the factory uh, in um, May, I think we checked on this one. No, that'll be a bit quick. It must be April, May, June. Yeah, it was here in June. That so this car here has got a 78.8 .8 kilowatt hour battery pack with 75.3 down as usable, at least when it's new. So um, that would probably be referred to as, what, there's a 79 kilowatt LG pack. Uh, so that's basically what we are seeing in this car now. So not a massive increase, not huge increments, but every little bit helps. And it's nice to see that slightly larger size. So that's good. Um, we know Tesla's mileage estimate has always been a bit optimistic, isn't it? You know, on the website of say 370, 360 miles, that kind of stuff. Well, um, this now, according to the Tesla website today, says 389 miles of range for a car exactly like this, a long range. That is still optimistic. Basically, with our older car, the 75, we used to get quite reliably 280, 290 miles, something like that, not too hard. Um, with this, you could easily get over 300 miles now. Again, if you're going, you know, 100% to zero, if you've got to take in the real world, you're never usually going to go right down to zero and all that kind of stuff. But it's certainly a plus 300 mile car. Uh, I was intrigued actually. So I actually worked out, okay, 389 miles of theoretical range. What efficiency do you need to get to do 389 miles out of it? Well, let's say we've got 75 kilowatt hours usable. Work all that back, um, you're over five miles per kilowatt hour. It works out to about 192 uh, watt hours per mile. So next time you're driving your Tesla Model 3 and you're looking at the efficiency there in watt hours per mile is what we tend to use here, um, you need to be well under 200 to get near its rated range, which is obviously going to be trying a little bit to do that. So yeah, plausibly possible, but not necessary in the real world, but still a real world plus 300 mile car here, that's for sure. So uh, Tesla's always been ahead of most of the other stuff in just in terms of the efficiency in miles per kilowatt hour and such like. Um, so yeah, good news, there we are. Slightly bigger battery in this, probably referred to as the LG 79 for the UK shores now. Um, so let's just check as well, whilst we had our diagnostic out, we plugged into a couple of the cars here. Let's check out the Model 3 standard range and the Model Y and see how they compare. Okay, so this is a Tesla Model Y here, obviously. In the UK, we only get the Model Y a long range, um, still made out of China. We don't get any of the Berlin stuff here, by the way. It's all made in Shanghai stuff in recent times. Uh, Model Y long range. So this also 78.8, uh, it's the same battery pack now as the Model 3 long range. So the 79. Now we did a, a range test, check out our videos actually. We did a range test on one of these where we drove from 100% to absolute zero until it literally died and couldn't move anymore. And we managed to get 76 kilowatt hours used out of the battery according to the car 
when we recharged it, we put 76 kilowatt hours back in. So I knew then that was its kind of usable capacity of the Model Y. So now I expect the Model 3 to be exactly the same. Um, 75.3 is, is according to the diagnostics, it's usable. So yeah, I mean, it's probably the same, isn't it? And we did drive that to the app through nth degree where it just died. So if you want to know what happens to a Tesla Model Y or 3 when it gets to zero and beyond, check out our videos for that because um, that was good fun. <laughs> Thanks to a neighbor that rescued us. Anyway, long story. Uh, the Model Y seems to have the same. I did have a, um, a theory that uh, some of the Model Y in Europe may have had 82s because they had the 82 and the Model 3 long range. But from someone I know, they've got the long range. That's always been a 79. That's a 2021 Model Y. That is a 79 kilowatt hour, same as this. And they've also got a Berlin-made Model Y Performance now. And that is also a 79 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it looks like all the Model Ys, certainly here in Europe, are the 79 packs. So that seems to be a real standard theme now across the long range range. What about the Model 3 uh, standard range though? Let's go and check that one out. And so this is a standard range here. This isn't actually one of the latest batch. So, but from what I can gather, there are three versions of a standard range. So they had the original one, which was about 50 kilowatt hours. So that'll take you from the 2019 cars up until uh, about 2021, probably the first half of 2021. Then we got what's called LFP battery cars. A lot of people wouldn't know the difference. I uh, can forgive you for not doing so, but you can tell if your car's got the LFP battery because your charge limit bar in the car, at 90%, it will say a daily, trip, daily charge limit if it's the old battery. If it's LFP, different battery chemistry, not going into that now. But LFP likes going to 100% all the time. So unlike all the other Tesla models, you don't just limit your charge into 90%, you go to 100%. Um, so if your car just goes 100% and doesn't mention daily or trip, then yours car is an LFP, standard range. This car here is an August 2021 car, as in made in August, so I can get the exact date it was actually made. Now that car here has got an LFP battery at 55 kilowatt hours gross. So I had an LFP car, uh, which I bought back in December 21, and that had a, a 60 kilowatt hour gross LFP, because I've measured the number of miles I'd driven and how far that took me and how much energy I used. And it would have had to have had the 60 kilowatt hour gross battery pack. So, Basically, there's the original LFP battery, uh, original Tesla Model 3 standard range, then the 55 kilowatt hour LFP, and then uh, from the end of 21 until about now, we've got the 60 kilowatt hour LFP battery. I don't think anything's changed there. I haven't got one of the latest standard ranges here, but again, we'll continue to gather that and I'll correct that and put comments below if that's incorrect. As for the performance, uh, again, I don't have a latest one here right now. Again, we've just missed out on one. Um, so, as far as I'm aware, they are still the only car in the UK with the 82 pack, 82 kilowatt hour Panasonic pack, I think, in those. So that's the biggest of the Model 3 and the Model Y lineup. But I am looking forward to testing one of the latest ones because maybe that's changed to the 79 pack now. You never know with this kind of thing. So I will get my hands on that and check. And of course, stay subscribed, stay tuned, and we'll post some updates and some more videos on this topic in the future. But in the meantime, I just wanted to share to you that our Model 3 long range at least has a slightly bigger battery now. So I hope that's good news. If you've just picked one up, congratulations to you. So uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the viewers, appreciate all the subscribers and all the good comments that we've received so far on our videos. And we'll hopefully see you on another one very soon.